I was sifting through some old photos and videos today and I came across a project I forgot to finish. It was an attempt to calculate pi using a pie. Well actually it's a Bakewell tart, but tarts are a category of pi. Anyway, let's get started. Pi is an irrational transcendental number that describes the proportions of a circle. The circumference of a circle is pi multiplied by the diameter. The area of a circle is pi multiplied by the radius squared. So, the diameter of this pi is 152 millimeters. To measure the approximate circumference, we could wrap a piece of string around it, or we could try to straighten it out and measure it as a line. The circumference measures 466 millimeters. Circumference is pi times the diameter, therefore pi is the circumference divided by the diameter. 466 divided by 152 is 3.06578947, etc. Now, we know that's not exactly right, but let's carry on. Let's try to measure the area. We can do this by packing the slices into a rectangle. Well, a skewed rectangle, which is a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is calculated by multiplying length, 248 millimeters, by perpendicular height, 76 millimeters. So the area is 248 times 76, which is 18,848 square millimeters. The radius is 76. 76 squared is 5,776. So 18,848 divided by 5,776 should give us pi. We actually get 3.2631578, etc. Now obviously there's some slop and measurement difficulty here. So let's average out our two measurements of pi. We get 3.1644736, etc. Not the right number, but considering that we're working with a crumbly, squashy disc of pastry, not a bad approximation. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.